So in a hierarchy, you're really concerned with the use of power. You're either trying to get power over other people or you're experiencing power as a power under. I, um, I need to sort of sabotage things from the back end because I can't do it directly. Okay, systems like this tend not to feel safe to people. So when we're stuck in systems like this, or when we're really, um, maybe not stuck in, that might not be the best words, but like entrenched in the system, you're going to see a lot of, um, I'm gonna to get to this later, you're going to see a lot of shame, guilt, um, fear, anxiety, anger, um, and the needs that people have at this level have a lot to do with safety, predictability, structure, um, you know, uh, strategies that you see working well when a lot of this is active are routines and um, rules and policies and knowing, knowing right from wrong becomes a strategy for safety. If I know the right way to do it, then I can just do that and then I'm going to be safe in this world. And I also know who my people are and who, who the other people are. So this is a world in which we also have a lot of us versus them. We have both me versus you at the individual level, and then we have us versus them at the collective level. So in this realm, um, this kind of thinking, hier hierarchy domination control thinking, leads to disconnection and division. It's a fragmenting way of relating. It's designed to fragment self from other, us from them, and in doing so, we create enemies. And so what happens then is some human beings become a them and become an other and become an object. And then we have license to be violent towards them because they're no longer included in my sense of humanity. Is that making sense so far? Any questions about this piece or comments? 